in this next segment we're going to launch the program and become acquainted with its user interface. From your desktop, click on the shortcut to launch the program. You'll be presented with the initial screen that looks like this. Let's take a look at our working space. We have a typical menu structure across the top and we have this find toolbar in this area here, a layout toolbar in this area here. Down below we have a screen sizing utility that allows you to scale it to suit your screen. So I can go larger or I can go smaller. And in this space we have a selector for picking the modes of the program. When you click there you'll see a browse mode which allows you to look around at found items. We have a find mode that allows you to enter in search criteria to look for items and a preview mode that allows you to take a look at the way things will be when they're printed. Those are the native controls of the program but within this database we have a variety of buttons that are placed here for our convenience that we'll use to make it work and then show you how to get a little bit more power using the native interface. The database is comprised of several layouts and if we look at our layout selector here we can pull down the menu and see what they are. We begin at search one, that is the layout that we are at. Search two obviously is where we may be going next. Search three, the one beyond that. There's also a bill of materials layout, a quote layout, and a price list layout. If you run into any dead ends where the navigation buttons within the program cannot guide you, you can always come up to this area and pick the next space to get you back to where you want to go. I'm going back to the beginning and from here I'm going to choose begin. What has happened is we are now in the find mode and we can enter in some search criteria. We have two areas within which we can do that. We have a product search area and a quick item lookup area. If you're just looking for a part number or if you know your item type, a model description, you'll easily find a list price or any of the other parameters outside of what you're looking for. Let's do something a little more interesting. Let's drill into the database and try to find something. I'm going to go over here and pick a visual device and just click next. What you'll see is I have found 580 hits out of a possible 1089 records in the database. These are all my hits and I can scroll through them by clicking on the pages of the book and you'll notice as I scroll the black bar on the left appears next to the record that is activated. So I can keep scrolling along and that black bar is just going to scroll along with us. I can also pull the slider to go further down the records. I can enter a number into this space to pick one specific record to be activated and I can also just scroll the wheel on my mouse to move up and down all the records. I'm going to back up the slider bar and go back to the beginning where we started, record number one. So I have seen by scrolling up and down that I have a variety of different products and I may want to narrow that search criteria. So what I can do is refine my search by clicking this button here and enter in additional data. So perhaps I want a visual device that operates from 24 volts DC and since I am in category one visual device. I'm going to stick in category one visual device 
and pick a specific type and I'm going to select blinking or flashing light. I'm now going to execute my search there and you'll see that we've narrowed our results to 166 possible entries. And if I scroll the wheel of my mouse, we can go up and down and see the different types. Well, that's still quite a few results, uh, but my customer said he really would like a red light. So let's refine this a little more. I saw a lens color here and I can pick red. Let's do that, execute a search and I'm down to 60. I also see a few other things here that I'm not sure what the answer is for my customer yet, so I'm just gonna leave those alone. But I'm down to 60 results, and I have a variety of different styles, and perhaps this is what I might wanna send to my customer so that he can pick and choose. Or maybe better yet, I should ask him some more questions because this could be a little overwhelming at this point. Let's try to narrow it down to what might best suit his application. In this segment, we want to go over how to put together information that will be shared with the client. This can be done by printing a PDF document. We'll show you how to conduct a screen capture of the image on the screen that you can easily place in an email. We're going to show you how to prepare a bill of materials and from that put together a quotation that we can send off to the customer. Okay, let's begin a new product search and this time I'm going to be looking for a combined visual and audio device 24 volts and I want it to be a multi-function programmable light with sounder hit next and you can see that I have three found items so it's a very manageable list this time uh, what I may want to do then is view the summary which very similar layout just takes away some of our search criteria and presents this in a form that might be better to send to the customer if I'd like, I can print this as a PDF file. Notice that you have a choice to print all the records being browsed, which are the ones that you've just found, or perhaps just the current record, which is going to be the one highlighted with the black bar next to it. So then it would only print just the one record. I'd like to show the customer all these records, so I'm going to make the selection all records being browsed hit OK. I'm generating a PDF file. And here's our PDF generated right here. I'm going to click on that and bring it into a single page view. And we have a nice formatted single sheet showing the items to present to the customer. You can simply attach this file to an email and let him know what we're thinking about for his needs instead of creating a PDF file perhaps we want to just do a quick screen capture and attach it to an email. I have a utility program installed into my computer called Screen Print 32 and if I click on the print screen button of the computer it activates that utility and I can simply select the portion of the screen that I'm interested in right click and capture that selected area and once I have captured that selected area I can go over to an email message and simply choose to paste that into the body now I have my information nicely placed in an email message I can send directly to the customer Now here I am back to my product summary page and I'm going to navigate back to the search results view. There's the same three products with my additional search fields. But here you will find the button that says go to the bill of materials. 
I'd like to begin building a bill of materials that I can turn into a quotation to send to my customer. So let's say, for example, I was interested in this particular item. I'm going to click on the part number, which activates the entire field. Then I'm going to right click and copy that field, go to my bill of materials, create a new bill of materials, and then I'm going to go into the field named part number. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that part number in there. I'm going to click over here on item type and what happens immediately is things begin to autofill. I've brought over the item description, the list price, I have an opportunity to in input a discount, an item number, and a quantity. Let's go back to my search results, pick the next item, right click, copy, go to my bill of materials, click, right click, paste, I'm building the next item. Back to search results, I didn't want to send him information on this one today, I want to start over, begin a new search. This one wants to be a panel mount buzzer. I'm looking for this buzzer. There's the one I'm looking for. I'm going to copy that, go to my bill of materials, paste it in there, and there we have that. So as you see, we start building this bill of materials which is also viewable as a quotation. If I view the quotation, I have the same items and a little bit more of a formatted type of presentation. I'll be able to go down here, put in some delivery information. I can put in my name as the preparer. I can go down here and select a representative from our, our list of representatives that, that represent Fannenberg product. Uh, I can enter in uh, a regional sales manager from the menu of available regional sales managers. Uh, and if I pick one of these, it will autofill the rest of their information, uh, as you can see down here. And if I pick one of these, it will autofill their information. These fields may or may not apply to the activity that you're working with, but it just shows you the capability of, of what you can put together with this program. You can enter in a quote number, the, cu the customer's company, address, the person's name, first name, last name, his phone number, email address, a reference, oh, reference your phone call today or your RFQ number, whatever it may be. So I've gone ahead and entered in some of additional information on the quotation form, the company name and address the person to whose attention this is going to, some contact information, item numbers, quantities, I've put in 30% discounts for each item, and you can see that the program will compute your total for you. So now we have a nice quotation that's all ready to print off and send to the customer. If I want to have a look at what this looks like, I can preview the quote and basically turns it into a view that will appear as an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'm going to go back to my browse mode and there's one more step that I'd really like to do in addition to printing this quotation. I would like to provide the customer with a nice summary of the three items on the quote. Be sure to proceed to the next video in this series for additional information. We'd like to thank you for your participation. Make sure you visit the download portal to get your database program. And as always, contact us with any questions. Good luck and good selling.